This is Twit. So at Build, I believe it was, Microsoft announced this idea of Microsoft Mesh. And Mesh is the idea of creating an environment in mixed reality uh, where you can actually interact first in avatar form and at some point in the future, they hope in hologram form, you know, the whole idea of holoportation so that you could teleport yourself as a hologram and be in a virtual environment and talk to people and interact with them, do demos and look at things together as if you were in the real world. Okay, so they announced that um, at Build. Now, at Ignite this week, they they said, okay, one of the ways we're going to manifest this vision is by bringing teams, uh, bringing mesh to teams, basically. So the way this looks is a little weird. It looks like cartoon characters with no lower half of their body um, <laughs> interacting <Yep. laughs> in various virtual spaces that they've created to represent things like conference rooms or basically anything you want, a home, a retail store, whatever. Um Okay, so this is this is Microsoft's take on the metaverse. And we heard Facebook slash Meta's take on this a week ago. The difference between that take and Microsoft's take is Microsoft's is all about the enterprise to start, right? So they even talk about the metaverse for the enterprise as a separate thing from the way Facebook talks about the metaverse, which is very- The metaprise, if you will. Yeah, yeah, there you go. I like that. I will not, use Paul. No. <laughs> Metaprise, right. yeah. Starship Metaprise. There you go, the Starship <laughs> Metaprise. Oh, another good title for the show. <laughs> um, okay, so uh, at first this looks kind of ridiculous, but the idea is, for especially for people who don't like to use their cameras in virtual meetings, you could be in a Teams meeting and be represented by an avatar which, with your expressions and gestures and just have that thing represent you in a meeting so that you don't have to be on camera all the time. Over time, they want it to be people actually interacting, you know, um, together in other settings. So this is gonna be a very gradually phased in thing. They're saying the preview of this is next year. It's nothing imminent for the, for the rest of this year. Uh, I saw a lot of skepticism on Twitter about this when Microsoft was showing it, but also some excitement, like some people saying, okay, you know what? They have this, you know, uh, capability now in Teams where you can all be in a coffee shop together. What do they call it again? Is or it, you can be in yeah, a Yeah, I was stadium. just trying to think of that name. It's not better yeah. to get, what's that? What's the name of that? It looks, you could be in the classroom or in a, yeah, they have different I'm like type drawing of a mental yeah. blank on what they call yeah, it. Oh, it's sort of like a, 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 a like a lens that you apply where it looks like you're all in the to, space together. Is it together mode? I together think it mode. Be together right. mode. Yeah. It is. So together mode is one way that Microsoft has tried to pioneer making meetings better, be, so that it doesn't feel so horrible, like you're in a grid and you see all their people and yeah. it's just like everybody looking bored, right? This is another way they're trying to bring some new way of interacting during a meeting together. You know, back in uh, whenever Build was, April, May, um, they brought out Alex Kipman. He was standing in some mm -hmm. kind of a weird virtual aquarium and everyone was wondering yeah. what the heck was going on. Oh, Alex Kipman yeah. runs a lot of their, yeah. you know, mixed reality HoloLens type yeah. stuff. Yeah. So the interesting thing to me about, well, I guess there's a bunch of interesting things, but one of the interesting aspects of this is that there are 2D and 3D experiences. So the together mm -hmm. mode style thing is obviously 2D experience. It's on your screen. It emulates a, a yeah. real world environment. It's, it's you know, flat and, and whatever. Mm -hmm. um, I think we all, as I said on the show yesterday, I guess, uh, or the other, whenever that was, yesterday, yes. Feels like three years ago. Um, it does. <laughs> I think we all suffer from a little bit of, uh, you know, camera fatigue these days. And I, I, yeah. I would today, for example, love to have an avatar here instead of me. That would be fantastic. Um, <laughs> but... I, Microsoft seems intent on making some case for all ends and mixed reality in business. Yeah. And this is one of those ways they'll do that. And I have to say, it, from the perspective of a virtual environment, as ponderous as he headsets and things are, a 3D environment makes a lot more sense. Um, especially if it's a virtual space you can kind of move around in. You know, they show people high-fiving each other and standing around a table, that kind of thing. And, and, and yeah. you know, we've 
we've had things like this. I mean, you could argue that a yeah. 3D video game is a little bit like this, you know, right. mm -hmm. basically realistic looking avatars running around a military battlefield or whatever it is. Mm -hmm. um, so, uh, you know, it's it, it's plausible. It's unfortunate this happened right after the meta thing because it yeah. sounds like Microsoft is in some way copying Facebook or whatever, but that's crazy. Uh, you know, yeah, uh, they've been working no, on this you know, for a while. So Here's something that's really interesting. So I, when I saw this announcement, when we were put under NDA about it, I, I did a search and I'm like, has Microsoft ever talked about metaverse before? Yes, they have, right? Ooh. They talked about it at Build. A lot of us didn't like really pick up on yeah, that, I feel yeah. like, but that's where they introduced the idea well, of the enterprise metaverse. There's a whole post about this from Build right. where they make the case that things like digital twins, Azure IoT, Synapse Analytics, Azure Maps, all these things that they already have in market, you could consider this building blocks for an enterprise metaverse. So I'm like, oh, yeah, it's, it wasn't Facebook who talked <coughs> about this first. Microsoft talked Mic about it Microsoft months ago. We just didn't a... really kind of grok it, I guess, the way yeah. they No, because they th this it. is something they do. They th casually throw out a word or a term. Yeah. It's it's yeah. it's mixed in with a bunch of other technology gobbledygook terms. That yeah. They use. <laughs> I called out yep. um, elasticity is one of my favorite Scott Guthrie words. Mm -hmm. um, it's not a Scott. I mean, the one that he happens to say a lot. He uses um, it a lot. Yeah, he does. He uses it a lot, you know. <laughs> I assume, by the way, that Neil Stevenson gets a one dollar check every time anyone says the word metaverse. Um, he should. <laughs> yeah, I would hope so. <laughs> um, but yeah, I, it's not. Look, it, it, yeah, it looks silly. And Mary, I think Mary Jo said that you only see the top half of their bodies. I'm sure in Mesh yeah. 2.0, we'll see the bottom half or something. Or, I, you yeah, know, we have a little Maybe link in there. There, we have a link in our notes, Micah, if you want to show it in case people haven't seen this. I said, there, here's what this will look like. Yeah. This is what. The, okay, I'll, let me send that over yeah. to John. And, um, you can see them moving around in this, this virtual space. Um, right. <laughs> it's odd. So it's I, hope, odd. <laughs> I hope you don't want anyone to see the heels you're wearing or whatever, because there aren't any. Exactly. Um, at, at least not right away. I'm sure that's just a, yeah. a rendering issue. A temporary uh, you know. thing. Same. Yeah. Yeah. But yeah, but that, and I so, think that's the point. Uh, I, yeah, I'm, good. I'm sorry. I, I was just going to say, I, I think, so I certainly do get a little hung up on the top half of the body deal. Uh, but yeah. when I look at something like, uh, Bitmoji and Mimoji and all of these different mm -hmm. design your own avatar right. things. We're sending, well, some of us are sending those back and forth pretty regularly. And, yeah. you know, the lower half yeah. of the body isn't there. I think that... Well, that's, um, we're not looking at our lower halves of our bodies right now. We're to meet, you know, right, we're exactly. meeting Right, exactly. Yeah, we're just top um, avatars. It would be a little exactly. weird if someone was looking under the table. You know, <laughs> Indeed. Or, in, in, or if I was avatars. standing up in the full frame yeah, yeah. and walking back and forth as we're doing the show, that would be yeah, odd. Yeah. Um, you know, I don't remember exactly, but I would imagine like the Nintendo Me characters probably look like little weebles or something. I'm, I, I, yeah. I, this is very common, you know, and, and for interacting and so forth, there's a need to see upper body. There's a need for hands and, you know, that kind of thing, and obviously faces and heads, mm -hmm. but... Um, yeah, yeah the, the technology is going to improve over time. It's, yeah. if anything, it's a little goofy how cartoonish it is. I mean, yeah. for a business product, it's a little yeah. strange that it is this cartoonish. So you know yeah. why it is, by the way? It's because it be they can't do the hologram part yet, just like with Mesh, right? When you saw them right. debut Mesh, it was all about people meeting in alt space VR, which Microsoft owns, right? And yeah. your cartoons, you're rendered as a cartoon character, basically in that space. You're a custom avatar, quote unquote. You're, it's not a like hologram. This is, it's <laughs> this is the natural conclusion of our careers to turn into cartoon avatars and just yeah. uh, drift I off. I want to be the, a cartoon. I want to have the cat <laughs> face. The other. You know? Yeah. Oh, yeah. And then people say, are you the cat? I am. <laughs> No, Your Honor, I am not a cat. Um, <laughs> yes. Right. Yeah, I mean, we'll just be computer generated yeah. and even the right. words, you know, our sort of conversations back and forth yeah. will also be computer generated. And they won't even yeah. know that we're not there. We're just yeah. sitting back exactly. in Paris having our uh, sweet meats. Sweet breasts, sweet breasts. meats. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh, anything, anything else we want to say about um, mesh I mean, I know it's early well, days. When are we looking at, you know, this actually rolling out? Next year, out? preview for this next year, right? Um, 
This was the big one, but remember that this was also only one of approximately 90 new Teams features that were announced at <laughs> exactly. Ignite as well. Um, which is no, this was the one ongoing. meant to be the glitzy, the glitzy one, yeah. right? Like every yeah, yeah. every one of these shows, you have to have something that where you're like, and here's the really glitzy thing. Right. may not be that practical or near term, but here it is because it demos really well. Here it is. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. Teams. No, it's, very, it's incredibly <laughs> visual, but... Yeah. There's a lot more, and, and go ahead, I'm sorry. I was just going to say, so you said the preview is coming out next year, or the yeah, version, like preview. the actual thing is coming? Okay, gotcha. The preview, preview first. Oh, yeah. We aren't really this is something, sure, I don't think, when the final is. Well, they said 2022, but that could be I think that was December 22. Yeah, I mean, that could be a yeah. while. Um, it will be available on PCs, phones, and mixed reality headsets, yeah. right? I think that's mm -hmm. an important right. thing to remember. And and that's a lot. Mm -hmm. That's true of so many Microsoft 365 type products where you can access it wherever you are. If it's on the web, there'll be a web version, a you know client version on your phone if that's your, if you're out in the world. Uh, and obviously for the few people, and and hopefully you know maybe more over time who have mixed reality headsets mm -hmm. as well. Right. It'll be so, um, it'll be interesting to see if when it actually comes out, if it makes people more convinced or less convinced that this is a good way to to interact. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, the, That's what right. I'm curious is it, about. Is it actually viable as a right? Yeah, but you know what? As a means I, of meeting. I, did I, this one's a little out there, but when Microsoft was essentially copying Slack when they first started making Teams, mm -hmm. I'm sure a lot of people were thinking, "Do we really need another one of these things?" Yeah, and. Yeah. They, Microsoft has turned Teams into something very special. That is this enormous platform. They're very, they they mention it's a platform. I think every time they say the word Teams, I think it's a contractual yeah. obligation. Um, it is uh, you have apps that run within it. There's a store. You know, mm -hmm. there are third parties and an incredible growing number of third parties that are building apps now. Uh, they announced yeah. like SAP ServiceNow, uh, the Atlassian mm -hmm. uh, Jira Cloud is in there now. And then, of course, all those new features. And we, you know, unfortunately, this is only a two-hour show, so we can't do all of that. But <laughs> um, we should mention at least a few of them. Like the shared uh, channel meeting thing is very interesting. Yeah. Um, yeah. You know, the, the, they have, and this is some really huge features around um, webinars and broadcasting mm -hmm. uh, that build off of improvements they're making to other products. You know, in PowerPoint, for example, they have this ability to have live video go through a presentation. So you can be in a circle or a square or whatever it is during a live presentation that you might be broadcasting with teams, you know, mm -hmm. I mean, it's this incredible set of functionality. Um, right. And I wish, God, I wish I cared more about this because you could never stop writing about this if this is all you wanted to do. Because no, you teams could have a, a you could have a blog called All About Teams yep. and every single day every you would single have stuff day. to write about. <laughs> every single day. Yep. No yeah. problem at all. No, that's true. I'm sure someone does and someone should. It's I bet somebody does. Such a rich yeah. area. Yeah. Wow.